Welcome everyone to our Wednesday night devotional COVID-19 style as I am currently in my backyard enjoying this uh, nice breeze and uh, this uh, warm weather uh, as, uh, as well. I hope to be able to say a couple of things tonight briefly to encourage you and to motivate you to, to keep the faith amidst amongst all of this craziness and uncertainty uh, in uh, in this uh, in this world and and in our lives. Earlier today, I had called Mitzi, and I, I had said, "Okay, so what's the plan for tonight?" And she just had this uh, weird uh, response. Uh, basically, what are you talking about? What's the plan for tonight? There is no no the plan for tonight. And I chuckled and I, I realized, you know, this is a question that I typically ask on under normal circumstances to make sure we're on the same page. But uh, there is nothing to do tonight. In fact, I mean, this is the way that COVID-19 is, right? There's... Uh, nowhere to go and and nothing to do <laughs> what i mean what where is there to go uh, what is there uh, to do uh, yesterday evening after uh we ate supper i asked uh, mitzi and the kids i, I said uh, y'all want to take a ride and they said sure and uh, they said where are we going and i said i don't know <laughs> let's just get in the car and we uh we just uh, took a ride uh, down the down our street and, and in our neighborhood uh, and after about five minutes of joy riding we were uh, we were back home but uh, as we all have these extended periods of being at home uh, in fact since our last uh, video last Wednesday uh, in, here in Louisiana we have had our a governor giving us a, a stay-at-home order and and so uh, even more time to be uh, at home and and in the evenings i have found uh, a little bit of extra time to do things that i've haven't done in in a long time and and i've shared some of those already as far as uh cooking and and cleaning out stuff this is a uh, spring cleaning uh time and i've uh, cleaned out my garage i've cleaned out closets I've washed my back porch. I've uh, done all kinds of things, and, and Mitzi and the kids—they've been—they've uh, been doing all kinds of stuff as well. Our house is as clean as it's ever been. Our backyard and uh, grass is cut on a regular basis. And um, next thing on my list is the flower beds. Uh, that's um, that's what I'm hoping to uh, to get accomplished. We uh, did some spraying of on some weeds and hopefully being able to to get that up but i will tell you that yesterday i was thinking about all that i wanted to do and could do and and you know, kind of getting a little bit uh, discouraged thinking there's nowhere to go nothing to do well i woke up this morning and the first thing i said was i think i'm gonna plant a garden in the backyard <laughs> and, and isn't that crazy and uh mitzi looked at me like i, I was crazy and I, I said all right look after these flower beds that's the next thing on the list well um growing up i always uh, recall or remember my grandfather pop um he uh he always he always talked about uh, planting a garden and he uh, talked about how he, he wanted us to go, um, he wanted somebody in the family to go buy a piece of land in the country so he can, uh, so that he can uh, plant this garden. And, and he even uh, talked about that when he said the country, he meant Independence, Louisiana, uh, where he was, uh, where he was from and where he, he grew up prior to coming uh, to uh, New Orleans. But Pop always talked about planting his garden. and. And after him and Bubby uh, sold out this, their store, their grocery store in New Orleans, they, they, they moved to Metairie. And next thing you know, Pop had a, a little bit of a, a garden as, uh, as well. And, and uh, he had all kinds of things in there. But the, the one that, of, that I remember the most was Kakutsa. 
and I, I don't even, uh, you know, when I first talked, heard about that, I didn't even know what it was, and evidently it's some type of Italian squash, but that was Pop's thing. He always wanted to, to have a garden, and he finally got to Metairie, and he had cacuzzas growing um, on the side of his house uh, in the in the backyard uh, area, and uh, who knows, maybe in this side of the house, in the backyard area, I don't even know if this is the spot for it to be. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of shade right here. I don't know if that's a good thing. I know nothing about gardening. I'm going to start a, a YouTube uh, binge watching on, on planting a garden. But I, I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, the basics. Onions, green bell peppers, garlic, celery, tomatoes, and maybe even Kakutsa. Who knows? I will. Uh, we'll see how that uh, goes. But uh, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter fifty-one, verse number three: "For the Lord will comfort Zion; He will comfort all her waste places. He will make her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy." and gladness will be found in it thanksgiving and the voice of melody and just a few chapters later in isaiah chapter 58 verse number 11 the scripture says that the lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones you shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. I don't know about you, but you start thinking about, I start thinking about COVID-19. I feel like everything's failing. I feel like everything is in is falling apart. I feel like there's this extended drought uh, going on, a drought of our normalcy, drought of of routine, drought of things we want to do, a drought of the places we want to go. But in the midst of all of this chaos of COVID-19, Isaiah identifies uh, three things that can, can help us. And he talks about number one, gladness, number two, gratitude, and number three, guidance. That's what I, I want you to be thinking a little bit about this evening in the midst of COVID-19 gladness. Um, have you smiled today? <laughs> have, you, have you laughed today? I, I challenge you to, uh, to get a pen and paper or maybe use the notes app on your phone and, uh, and, and to write down three things that you have smiled about today or have laughed about today. Number one, gladness. Number two, uh, gratitude. Uh, joy and gladness will be found in it. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. So gladness and then number two, gratitude. What is it you're thankful for? And I, I know there's a whole lot of things right now we're disappointed about. There's a whole lot of things we're frustrated about a lot of things that are just uh, up, very upsetting. And in the midst of all of that, though, we can take a time to count our blessings, to have a, an attitude of, of gratitude, uh, to thank the Lord for all that he has given to us. So what are you grateful for in the midst of this COVID-19? I, I challenge you to make a list of three things that you have, that you are grateful for. And uh, number three, guidance. So joy and gladness will be found in it. Gratitude and the voice of melody. And number three, guidance. The Lord will continually guide you. We have, and hopefully you're following, I'm trying to follow as well, the CDC guidelines. Everybody's talking about guidance from the CDC. And yes, by all means, we need to wash our hands. We need to keep that good six foot social distance uh, away from others. Uh, stay home and uh, stay away from others, especially that 
if you've been uh, sick for uh, a little while and uh, we've received much guidance in regards to the virus but as christians we have a great opportunity to seek guidance from the lord last time we talked about renewing your minds by staying focused and in the word every day reading scripture we also can seek guidance from spending specific direct and intentional time in prayer with the lord what's your prayer life been like during covid19 we have all the time that we need we have all the time that we have uh, all the time that we can ever imagine right now to spend time with the lord in prayer so i challenge you also to make a list of three things that you can seek the lord's guidance for in your life now i don't know about this garden i don't know if there will be i'm envisioning uh, uh onions bell peppers celery garlic tomatoes and even kakutsa hanging off the side of the, that fence right there and i don't know if that's more of a dream or a, a reality and w that's still to be determined i don't know how long this covid 19 is going uh, to last there's a lot of i don't knows there's a lot of uncertainties but there are a few things that i do know and that is that we can be glad we can be grateful and we can seek guidance from the Lord's. I hope this has helped you. God loves you. I love you. And I want to do anything I can to help you. Take care. God bless. See you next time.